What's going on, traders? Welcome to my stream. Currently, GTII went to the moon today. So, a couple of things about GTII. First off, let's get something together here. I'm getting a lot of posts here. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Anyway, the point is this. For the past one year, one year and a half, OTCs suck. So, in the past year, the OTCs have been doing absolutely nothing. It was perfectly, perfectly fine in my own logical mind that I should be bearish. Uh, as you can know, as you know, the crypto market sucks. The overall market sucks. I'm still banking, making money in the small cap market. I'm still banking, shorting the small cap market. And I'm still watching OTCs. What I'm really good at is buying stuff pre-market. They were very hot during the summer. And, and now they're starting to be back, back hot. Anyway, so the GTII fiasco. First off, it's very much unnatural for the stock to go like this stock has been going. One green day, consolidation, red day. And then you have one other green day. You can see here that, you can see the pattern here that's been going on here one other green day it's been going on technically how many green days in a row now <laughs> i don't know how many green days this is a very this is a very crazy ass pattern here you can see here that you have one two one two three one two three and then one big ass candle that happened today so that is the crazy ass candle that happened today to 544. As you might know, I was talking about it at $3 to beware of investors. Of course, I want you to be beware because it's up from a buck 80, which is pretty hot, pretty low. Stocks have not moved from 75 cents up to 540. I don't know, for like a decade. This is 75 cents over here, 0.75. And we're at 540. So I gave a nice, I gave a nice video warning people of that this stock might dump. I was obviously wrong. Uh, seems like the summer season for trading OTC is back, and I'm watching a lot of other stocks that will go to the moon just like it. Where do I think GTI is going? Obviously, the way I trade them, I usually buy the breakout. Actually, over here, the way I teach in my DVD is to buy them. I didn't know there was running. Just keep this in mind. Buying the breakout does not work in a cold market. Obviously, between last week and this week, we transitioned from a cold market into a hot market. So the way I teach is like if you have... A daily breakout, like we had a daily breakout here at like I don't know, a buck seventy-five. This was the daily breakout here, a buck seventy-five. You buy it over here, and then you hold it on the third day when it consolidates, or you buy it over here when it consolidates and breaks this three dollar mark, and you hold it. For another day or two that's basically how i teach i teach to buy the breakout obviously i was pretty bearish because i thought that we're in a cold market which we were because there's only one otc running i scan all stocks in the whole entire market every single day i put them on the watch list and i put them in the chat room so obviously three dollar was your buy point buy point and 175 was the buy point those were your buy points i buy them each time they make a new high after a long consolidation period and today we broke through that 52 week breakout actually on friday for four dollars and sixty cents which was over here this little candle here that was at four dollars and sixty cents So, the truth is, I have no idea how high GTI is going. I really don't know. All I can do is I put them on the watch list. 
I personally didn't even trade at all. I make enough money trading small caps. This is one OTC in the whole entire market. There's infinite amount of, uh, of material out there. Actually, what happened is when I was streaming on Tuesday, I kind of was on the wrong side of the trade and I hit my maximum loss for today, which I teach in my DVD to take your maximum loss per day. Do you have a maximum loss for today? Because things can go from hot to cold in this market very soon. So, the GTI fiasco. First off, for the last year and a half, OTC have sucked. So what do I do? I just don't trade them. I wait them for their for when they're hot again. So now, what I'm doing? I'm putting in all the other OTCs on the watch list. Put other OTCs on the watch list. Because when, when this stock is going to go red on the day, the momentum from GTII is going to come back to another stock. You know, you got to understand how this market works. Market is made out of traders. If traders are winning, and they're winning on GTII, and the stock say on Monday, it goes, it goes up to like $6 over here, six dollars over here and then decides to be like forget this crap and it starts crashing below yesterday's close that will make it red on the day and then comes back up here and it closes here you know that that can happen that could happen at any time <laughs> actually we're really very much overextended i have not seen us uh, i have not seen an otc stock go up 75 percent in one day uh, on three million, three million in volume, <laughs> it went seventy-five percent. So the truth is, I have no idea where GTII is going. I, 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 what I'm looking for, the way I've been trading for fifteen years is that I buy the breakout here at one seventy-five, and I sell for twenty percent gain. So from one seventy-five, the breakout. I sell probably in the 240s, which is, you might say, it's very conservative because this one went to $3, but that's how I've been doing. I don't know if it's going to go to 240 or th and then sell off because the majority of them do. <laughs> so on an average, I buy the breakout as I've been doing in my DVD and I examine thousands and thousands of charts. I buy the breakout at 175 and sell it for 20% gain. This is how I've been trading for the last 15 years. Or here, I buy the breakout at $3 and sell it at 360. I am very happy to trade breakouts when the stock market is running. But when the market is in a coal market, I'm gonna put a nice 35, <laughs> 35 minute video <laughs> of it feeling bullish. Of me, of me being bearish. I can flip from bearish to bullish at a moda's notice. I did not trade GTII. As a matter of fact, I didn't even put it in my brokerage account. So, can you stop sending me email at, I'm like, I, what do you mean $3 literally at 5.30? I mean, there's a certain amount of like, like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm trading. I am a professional small cap, actually. I'm a professional OTC trader that's been trading since 2008 and I buy the breakout and sell for 20%. And if you do this in a cold market, if you buy this stock, a similar chart like GTII and you don't sell for 20%, you will be, you, you will hold an empty bag. So I held a lot of empty bags. I'm a empty bag professional. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting so many empty bags from putting a negative, <laughs> a negative video on GTII, uh, more than more empty bags than ever from like 554 views, 18 likes me bearish and the stock goes 75%. I understand some people are pissed. The, the reason why you should be warned about trading OTC is because when you're in a cold market, the thing can go to 360 and then pretty much dump off. I know. I've been there. I have no idea when the market is going to flip on me from cold to hot and hot to cold. 
Obviously, we have flipped from a cold market to a hot market in the OTC market, and we have one stock moving, and it's blowing up. So, so that, that, that means if you buy all the other 200 stocks on the OTC watch list, they're probably going to go down. <laughs> so this is very much an abnormality. So, so GTI, what I'm going to do right now. So the game plan is the eight OTCs for a year and a half have been cold. Now I'm taking, I'm taking the OTCs and I'm putting them all on my radar. Then when the stock goes red on the day, which it might, what does red on the day mean? That means it goes below yesterday's close. Friday's close was at 544. So if it goes below 544, you know, you're going to have other OTCs blowing up possible and possible the, the money flow is going to go from one OTC to the other OTCs. Over the counter stocks are very slow. <laughs> I traded a lot of OTCs. But now, since I have 14 years experience, I, I trade small caps much more often because the thing about OTCs, they're seasonal. Seasonal. So they run for three to four, two to three months of the, months out of the year. And then they're dead. They're very seasonal. They're very moody. And then when they're not running, you shouldn't be trading them. But when they're running like this, you should be trading them. Obviously, I did not trade it because because I, I didn't trade it. I didn't think it was going to go, but it actually did. So what do you want me to do? Make more things go up. If I mean, for the past three weeks, the overall market, if you look at the overall market, what the overall market has been doing. So enough about that. You can see here that GTI broke about the 460 mark, which is all time high. So the overall market sucks. Overall market sucks really bad, actually. We've been we've been selling off from like, I don't know, like the if I look at the overall market right now, I don't know how many how many how many uh, uh how many posts I have. The spy is at 357 and we've been selling off since like when have we been selling? 816? We're just going down to the gutter. We're from ever since ever since January of 2021, the, the SPY has been going up from 474, right about here, and we've been going like this, like this, like this, oh my god, that's squeaks, like this, like this, like this, and then we had a huge bounce, and now we're kind of like going like this, that's kind of like how the overall market has been performed in the past, I don't know, <laughs> in the past eight months. So we are in a bear market. Keep that in mind. We are in a bear market. So keeping that in mind, keeping that in mind, there's only one going, which is GTII. There's a bunch of small caps going. So the way if you're still long on GTII and if you have not sell, I did not sell, I did not say sell it. I said sell some as it goes up. The more it goes up, the more you sell. That's kind of it. 20% is minimum. 20% is minimum profit. And if it goes higher than that, sell more, sell more, sell more. I don't think this stock is going to be overstock. I do not think it's going to go to the another galaxy. I do, I, I am quite amazed about this activity in GTIR. The strategy is to buy the breakout, buy it at 175, buy it at $3, and right now, well, it obviously went more than 20%. What do you want me to do? Anyway, you can, you can see my DVD course if you go to my website, unusualdaytrader.com, and you can get the full seven and a half hours of, uh, of, of how I buy the breakouts and how I buy the bounces. Because obviously this is my, this might come back down to to like you know to to like the the the, the 10 SMA or the 13 EMA. This might come back down and might bounce off that area. So when it bounces, that's what I look for. I look for 13 EMA and I look for 10 SMA on the daily for it to bounce. That's probably where 
where I might that 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 might go, and then we might go back hard, might bounce. I don't know. So that's all I had to say. Let's review. I have no idea where these stocks are going. All I'm doing is I'm putting them on your watch list. Number two, I buy the breakout. I sell most, if not all, over 20%, and then I move on. Number three, I add all the OTCs in the market because when we transition from a cold to a hot market, all the other OTCs are going to start moving. And we had TGGI moving, TGGI moving, which is like a 50, 60 cent stock that went from, from like 20 cent stock, TGLO, which uh, that went from like 20 cents to like 60 cents. And we had WDRP, which was a sub penny from 0 0.0020 to like 0 0.009. So this momentum is gonna shift over. So I, I, I buy them and I sell them for 20% or more breakout. Number two, um, it, these things are seasonal for two to three to four months. If you do this strategy, if you buy the breakout in the wrong season, you're just gonna left with an empty bag. And, and number five, I mean, the overall market is selling. <laughs> There's no abundance. There's no stimulus coming. There's no <laughs> there's, there, there, there's no money coming. There's no girlfriend. There's no chick showing up at your door because you're broke and you cannot afford a hundred bucks to join my chat room. Uh, they're just not gonna come. Things are looking pretty crappy. No girls, <laughs> no money, no inflation, high unemployment. But hey, if the OTC market can go from green from, from really cold to hot and you know, time to buy. That's my take on GTI. Hope you guys made money. You know, this is for educational purposes only. I have no idea where these things are going, but if you, if you made money, good for you. If you, you know, it's always good to be cautious. It's better safe than sorry. You guys have a good one. Have a great week. Make sure you sub, like, comment, subscribe. Try to not send me too much negative <laughs> comments because <laughs> I'm probably going to block you. I don't like the negative ones. Unless it's very polite negative, I will definitely take a look. Other than that, you guys have a great weekend and go GGI. I, I hope it goes to 200, 200, 300, goes to overstock. It's been a GTI fiasco today and I'm happy to be part of it and be watching.